find the value of C guaranteed by MVT, which is the mean value theorem uh, for integrals for this function over the interval 1, 3. So before we do the problem, uh, let me write down the formula we're going to use. So the average value of a function, f of C, is defined to be 1 over B minus A uh, times the definite integral uh, from A to B of f of x with respect to x. And it turns out that this value of c, this is the one that's guaranteed by the mean value theorem. So you can use this formula for all of the average value problems and for all of the mean value theorem problems for integrals. You can always just uh, use this formula. So all we have to do in this problem is to find c. So we'll start by working this out here. So here b is 3 and a is 1. So we have 1 over 3 minus 1. And then we have the definite integral from 1 to 3 of this guy here, 9 over x cubed. Now we have to integrate this, so I'm going to write this as 9x to the negative 3 dx. Right, that way we can use the power rule. So this is 1 half. And then let's go ahead and integrate this thing. So we'll add 1. So we'll, 9 hangs out, and we have 9x to the negative 2 over negative 2. And we're going from 1 to 3. So this is equal to, let's see, negative 9 fourths times 1 over x squared, and then 1 to 3. And now we plug in 3, subtract, plug in 1. So this is going kind of fast. Let's see, plug in 3, 1 over 9, right, 3 squared is 9. Plug in 1, 1 over 1, so uh, 1. This is negative 9 fourths. Let's see, this is 1 ninth minus 9 ninths. So negative 9 fourths. Right, you can write 1 as 9 ninths. This is negative 8 ninths. Wow, hardcore math. Looks like negative and negative is positive. Oh my god, we get 2. So uh, this problem is rigged. Uh, I've never done this problem before. Uh, so we got 2. So this is, this is the average value, right? This is the average value. Now, it didn't ask us for that. It asked us for the value of c guaranteed by the mean value theorem. Well, all we have to do is set f of c equal to 2 and solve, and we're done. So f of x in this problem was, was 9 over x uh, cubed. So f of c, uh, we want that to be equal to 2. So that means that we want 9, of, 9 over c cubed equal to 2. And to solve this equation, maybe just multiply by c cubed. So 9 is equal to 2c cubed. I'm sorry I'm going fast. I have a, a sore throat, so I'm trying to, to finish quickly. And so c cubed is 9 halves. And, oh, geez, we got to take the cube root of this thing. So I guess the answer is the cube root of 9 halves. And that should be good. And we can check our answer, uh, kind of. Uh, we want our answer to be between 1 and 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to really quickly put this in my calculator. And just to make sure this is right, so we have 9 halves, 9 over 2, right? That's, that's what it says uh, right here, 9 halves. And it, there's a cube root. Um, we have to take the cube root of that. Now, my calculator doesn't have uh, a cube root command, so I know you can't see it, but the way I'm doing it is I'm using the caret key. And a cube root is the same thing as raising it to the one-third power. So if you, if you raise it to the one-third power, okay, that's pretty good. I got 1.65. So this is 1.65, and that's certainly between 1 and 3, so it looks like we're good. So that's the value of C guaranteed by MVT. So again, uh, whenever you're doing uh, a mean value theorem problem, mean value theorem problem, or an average value problem, you can just use this formula, right? This, this is the average value, average value. And so if the question asks for the average value, um, you, you just work out this integral. So the average value in this case is 2. And if it wants the value of C guaranteed by MVT, you first find the average value and this, then just take F of X and set it equal to 2. Uh, in this case, it was 2. And that's what we did here. Uh, you don't have to call it C. You could have just done 9 over X cubed equal to 2, etc. So same deal, same deal. Um, I hope that helped.